Greetings, comic friends. I have some comics here because it is TGIW. Thank God it is Wednesday. New comic book day. We're still doing pretty good, folks. We have uh, nine books this week. So we're, we're doing pretty good, uh, aside from some uh, random every once in a while falling out of it, but we're still like staying right in the sweet spot. And this uh, this week looks looks mostly pretty good. Um, I'll say the, the 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 one thing that I'm least excited about, the one thing that I'm just going to read to get through it because I've gotten this far, so I might as well finish it out, is Deep Beyond Eleven. Uh, it's 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 I just I just don't really care anymore. Uh, I liked it more at the beginning, and then and now I don't really care. Um, to be honest, I'm not real sure entirely what's going on, and that's probably just because as I read it, I I don't care as much. Um, like whenever I I read it, I I remember like I can't remember what side these characters are on, or like if they flip flopped a couple times. It's just it's. Um, and, and it's it's not bad. It's I just I don't think it's for me. Um, it might be for you or, or, or someone else. I'm not saying like it's a it's a horrible horrible thing. It's just I just don't really care that much. All right, that's out of the way. Everything else in here I am mostly excited about. <laughs> uh, if we're if we're gonna go in reverse order of stuff uh, from from not as excited to more excited that the next would probably be Batman Catwoman. <clears throat> uh, it's again, it's, I enjoy this. I'm glad that I'm reading this. I'm not saying this is bad by any means. Um, this is a very interesting story of the Catwoman, um, and, and Joker. It's mostly about Catwoman and Joker, I, I, but it's called Bat, Batman Catwoman. Uh, it is, it is Tom King, Right, and I, I've talked about Tom King recently with Rorschach and and Strange Adventures, where he just he's tends to drag things on a little bit longer than they need to be. Um, I haven't felt that as much with this as I did with the other two, um, but it it is there, there's a lot of wheel spinning. I feel like um, in this, it's still interesting, but I I think. It could be moved along a little bit, a little bit further, um, and and with this being the the third, I think the third Tom King that I've read somewhat recently, uh, he, he's he's, I'm I'm avoiding him from now on. Um, I think he's a good writer. Uh, I just think he's gotten in the habit of taking things that should be six issue arcs and stretching them out to twelve, and I'm not about that. And maybe that's not all him, you know. Maybe that's maybe that's DC that you know he's coming to them with a story idea, idea, and they're like, make sure it's twelve issues. I don't know, um, but for whatever reason that these these arcs are going twelve long when I don't feel they need to be, I don't I don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't, I'm not in anymore. So you you got you got my money for those twelve issue series. You don't get any more. Um, even if, you know, you, you you might have gotten more money for me if you just kept pumping out really good six-issue miniseries. But, uh, let's see. What are we doing? Are we going reverse? Yeah, let's go reverse. Reverse excitement. Um, hmm. Hmm. House of Slaughter 3. Uh, I, I, and just because I'm, I'm doing reverse, uh, the reverse and how excited I'm about something doesn't mean that I'm not excited about these books. I, I, I have enjoyed the first two issues of House of Slaughter. Uh, I am going to keep with it. Um, I was going to give it a couple issues to see how, how it goes. It is entertaining enough. I will keep with it. Um, and I, I like getting backstories of things, and that's definitely what House of Slaughter is. Um, so as long as it continues to be interesting, I will keep reading it. I, I don't think I'd have a problem dropping it if I no longer felt that way. Uh, but for now, yeah, it's good. Um, next, let's see, Serial. Uh, I, I, 
I continue to really like this book. Um, I'm not sure how long it's going on for, or maybe it's meant to be an in, in ongoing. Um, but it's it's real interesting. I, I really like uh, I like you know it's Terry Moore doing both a story and the art. I like his sort of simplistic art. Um, not, not, not to say it's bad art. It's not bad at all. It's but it is it's black and white and um, it's not like super detailed or shaded, but it works really well. Um, I think this is something that's probably worth reading in trade if uh, if you come across it and if you like it. Uh, next would probably be, what else we got here? Um, Odin's Eye. So I was not expecting Odin's Eye issue 2 so soon. The first issue was out last week. And man, that thing was a behemoth. That was like 70 pages long. Uh, it took a little while to get through. Uh, but it was good. I, I, I did really enjoy it. So it's, um, it, it, it's involving Norse mythology, as you might guess with, with Odin. Uh, where this little girl is kind of like a berserker, where she's like normal, and then she'll just kind of snap and like go nuts and kill who's ever around her. Uh, and she seems to be given the task, the journey of going to, where is it, Yggdrasil, the, the world tree where Odin's eye is, and retrieving it um, because Odin's not allowed to go back and get it. Uh, anyway, it, it was it's different. It's interesting. I really like it. It is it's bad idea, so it's you, not available everywhere. Uh, you have to find a distributor. Uh, if there's anyone out there that is interested in a um, bad idea distributor um, that does mail order, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, and um, I can put you in touch with them because uh, they do come out with some really good stuff and I, I've, I really like the first issue of Odin's Eye and I'm looking forward to the second uh, the second issue is this looks to it's a, it's a normal size issue it's not like a triple sized or whatever um, last week's was which is nice uh, I, I, I didn't I don't mind a really long issue but it's like every once in a while <laughs> um, not every you know every single issue uh, let's see. Next, I'll probably go with Venom number three. Uh, and the first two issues have been fine. Um, still still kind of figuring out what's what's going on here, uh, what, what this run is really going to be centered around or, or be about. Um, but it's it's been good. Um, I really like Dylan. I think he's a, a very likable character. Uh, and for him to be hanging out with a symbiote and having him, I, I I don't I can't tell if they're bonded or not because I know Eddie had said like whatever you do don't bond with the symbiote. But what does it mean to bond with it? Because the, the he'll wear the symbiote and he'll be venoming it up, but the the symbiote is usually separate from him, unlike when it was with Eddie, where it kind of like, you know, retracted it and, you know, slurped right up Eddie's butthole or wherever Venom goes when he goes away. Uh, but in this case, the Venom symbiote stays outside of Dylan, but will go on to him. So is that them not bonding? He's just wearing it occasionally. And if that's the case, like, I don't know, why didn't he do that with Eddie? It's, it seems a lot more convenient for everybody. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, uh, let's see. Next up, this is getting tough. Uh, I'll probably go Spider-Man 82. Uh, spoiler, Spider-Man woke up. Uh, he is out of coma. The, uh, the cover, I, I really like the cover of this, where it's, uh, it's the, uh, the side of the hospital. You can kind of see in the windows, and he's, uh, crawling around here and somebody found him and has a gun to him which is kind of weird um yeah there's all kind of stuff going on there in the window I, I i i don't know i think this is just a different kind of cover you don't see this kind of thing very often where the cover is kind of telling a little is almost a little comic in its own uh but um yeah uh i'm looking looking forward to reading this one um 
seeing how things are, are balanced with with Spidey out of out of the, his his coma and Ben running around. I I don't think Spidey's uh, Peter is up to like taking the mantle over again. He's still kind of recovering, but um, I, I am interested to see what's what's going to go go on with it. Um, and so I guess in, in these Amazing Spider-Man issues right now, until they what they're they're going towards. 900 we're at legacy 883 now um at 900 they're up until then they're they're having like some rotating um creative teams which which is 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 fine um ooh, 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 ooh. i'm gonna go with eat the rich number five as uh second to last um, just cause I just really like this book, and uh, I, f I feel that the, I can't remember her name, but the main character that kind of got thrown into this is definitely reaching a crossroads where she has to decide what is she going to do. Um, is she is she going to stay with this? Uh, her her boyfriend, fiancé, I, I, I think, I think fiancé, uh, has been really, I don't know, kind of weird and like, hasn't really talked to her about this whole cannibalism thing. Like, even after she found out, he, he's never been like, hey, sorry, I didn't tell you about this thing, that we're all, like, cannibals and whatnot. I know it's kind of weird. Uh, he's just kind of let her... I shouldn't say let her. Forced her to, like, deal with it on her own, which seems like a lot to deal with. And maybe the person that... You know, you would, you'd hope that the person that you love, especially since they got them, got you into this without telling you, would be there for be be there for you a little bit. But um, yeah, it's real. It's real. It's really good. And, and I I don't know if this is going to be five issues or six issues or, or maybe even more. Uh, but once trades come out, I I would definitely suggest picking it up. It's definitely worth a read. I really really like it. Uh, also, uh, if you haven't read it yet, um, spoiler alert: they're cannibals. Uh, and then last, Moon Knight, uh, and, and, you know, I've been enjoying Moon Knight, um, I've been, I've been waiting for a hook, and I think we're getting there, which is why I think I'm looking forward to this one the most, um, it, it, it'd be nice if this kind of, you know, Moon Knight has evolved these personalities, and not just his multiple personalities, but his, his, your, you know, his, his Mr. Knight personality, and his, his Moon Knight personality, and, and all that. And they're trying to do them all here at once, which it seems like a lot. Um, like I liked Mr. Knight in, in, in that run when he was just Mr. Knight. It was really cool because it was like, okay, I just have to worry about his Mr. Knight frame of mind. But now I have to worry about his Mr. Knight frame of mind, his, his, his Moon Knight, you know, uh, um, Vigilante frame of mind. And uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. So... Um, I, I like to see it become a little more cohesive and just kind of pick a, a direction, but maybe that's not in the plan. I don't know. Uh, but I, 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 I keep with it. I, I love Moon Knight too much to, to ever, probably ever drop it. Um, and I mean, I, ha I have to have to complete a complete run going. We have a complete run of something. You can't stop it. So I can't, uh, I can't stop that. Um, unfortunately, uh, but yeah, this is probably my my number one. Looking forward to this week, um, and that's it. Uh, that's that's all nine books. Uh, I, I I would say, you know, given I, I don't really care too much about this one, but there's always a book or two that that I'm I'm like, eh, yeah, I've been putting up with that until it's over. Um, but overall, I think it's a pretty solid week. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I'll probably get through them pretty quick just because of of how much I'm looking forward to. Uh, to pretty much everything here. Uh, but that is it. Uh, let me know how you did this Wednesday. How'd you fare this week with your uh, with your books? Um, what were you looking forward to the most? What are you most excited about? Um, and uh, is there anything interesting that you're looking forward to coming out? I, I know uh, I, I'm looking forward to, there's a new She-Hulk coming out and uh, there's a Swamp Thing Black Label book. I can't remember what it's called, Red something? I don't know. Uh, but there's a couple of things on the horizon that I'm really looking forward to. So let me know what uh, you're looking forward to, of anything, and uh, we'll chat about it. So please do that. Um, like, subscribe, notification bell, and of course, don't forget to make yours tighten.
This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.